as soon as I'm heading out to the grocery store, as soon as I'm dipping, we get news on the channel, man. Derek Jones Jr. opting out of his contract with the Chicago Bulls, which means the Bulls get a little bit more money on the table. How will this affect them moving forward? All that and more today's episode of the Windy City Breeze Sports Talk Daily Double episode. Let's go. Now, if you are new to the channel, please like the video. Please subscribe to the page. We do talk Chicago sports daily on this channel. It's the only channel talk Chicago sports. How Chicago talk. So make sure that you get in tune with us, man. So Chicago Bulls, Derek Jones Jr., who I thought was a pretty nice piece. Somebody that I really enjoyed having on the Bulls. Somebody that I was fine with opting into his deal. Somebody I thought was opting into his deal is opting out of his deal. He was slated to get a $3.3 million player option for the 2023-2024 season. What does that mean for this Bulls team moving forward? I think that there is... I'm not going to sit here and say that there's concern, right, in in where the Bulls are. I think this could be viewed as a good thing, but I think that there is a question mark on, okay, who's going to take on that DJJ role? And I think that that's maybe what led to this, right? Maybe that his role on the team was brought up, or maybe there was a question on what he was going to be moving forward with this team. Maybe this is an indication that Dalen Terry can get more minutes. Maybe this is an indication of, uh, you know, more young pieces off of the bench, getting more time in this system. Maybe they're finally going to use Marco Simonovic and the role just wasn't what DJJ thought it was going to be. Or maybe people are just offering more money for DJJ. Realistically, $3.3 million was a excellent deal for the Chicago Bulls. It was something that I was just like, all right, I'll take it. Like, I'm not going to complain about DJJ making 3.3 million. Again, every time he got on the floor, he made an impact. I think this could be a little bit of the Chicago Bulls. Of course, it's DJJ's option, right? But maybe there is a, a, a silver lining in all of this of, hey, you know, we're going to go out there. We're going to add somebody else to this team that may diminish your role even more. We appreciate what you've done for us, but we're going to go with these guys in this situation. Either way, DJJ is no longer a part of the Chicago Bulls uh, at this moment. It does make him a free agent and an unrestricted free agent. So now... The question is, what are the Bulls going to do with the extra money? You're adding $3.3 million back. You basically now get the full mid-level exception to use without having to go into the luxury tax. That's a very different player than the $8 million that we thought the Bulls were going to have to use to go into the luxury tax in this situation. Now I'm looking at, okay, maybe there's some different pieces here. Maybe this does, like the, the video I, I dropped earlier today, uh, well, like an hour and a half ago, about uh, possibly going after Russ. Maybe this does open up the option of opting of going for the full right even still going into the luxury tax but not having it hit you as hard with the 17 million you know maybe there is still an option for the Chicago Bulls going out there and getting a guy like Russell Westbrook or maybe there's an option where you're able to go out and get a guy like uh, a Kyle Kuzma now where things open up a little bit more although you probably still have to make a trade for Kuz but it opens up some more money for you to add on top of that I'm intrigued by this at the end of the day I, I look at this as a situation that is a positive for the Bulls. I do hate that DJJ might not come back. I guess he could still come back technically, but I do hate that DJJ might not come back because I do love the role that he played on this team. Um, I love the hustle. I love the fact that every time he got on the court, he made an impact defensively for sure. Offensively at times as well, coming in and being able to knock down that corner three and being able to uh, basically, I mean, he, he would, every time he stepped on the court, you felt his presence. He is what I've asked P. Will to be for three years now. Just when you step on the court, I should know that you're there. It shouldn't be that you're out there for 15 minutes. I'm like, hey, who the heck is, like, where's P. Will at? Like, oh, he's on the court? Oh, I can see him? Like, that's crazy. So, uh, hopefully this Bulls team is able to kind of turn this into a positive. Um, I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe this does open up another option. Let me know how you guys feel, by the way, in the comments below. I'll be down to talk with you as well. Maybe this does open up 
<laughs> excuse me, a little bit more options uh, in the point guard market for the Bulls. Maybe there's, you know, maybe this opens up the trade option now for them a little bit more, even that trade window where, yeah, we've still got some money where we can add somebody in. Maybe we do go out and trade away a piece to uh, add to this team. Maybe this opens up you not having to go deep into that point guard market and, uh, you know, giving away a ton of capital. Now you can add in something a little bit more feasible at the end of the day listen all you're hoping for in the point guard market is to get something better than Patrick Beverly um and I think most of the guys on the market are I think that with 12 million dollars you can do a lot worse than what we've seen and I, I guess at the end of the day right like as much as I love Pat Bev please don't give him the the full 12 like please don't <laughs> that's all I gotta say on that man but I want to know how you guys feel man let me know in the comments below I'll be down there talking with you as well we'll be breaking all this down on locked on bulls tonight man uh do you feel like this is a good situation for the bulls to be in do you feel like you know you're gonna miss DJJ I am gonna miss him I'm not gonna lie to you I I love what DJJ brought to this team I would have loved to continue to see him be a high flyer with this bulls team being able to go down there and and just attack the basket the way that he is but at the end of the day you know, that's that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometime. Um I I really want to see kind of how the rest of this roster now is going to shape out, though. Who's the guy that's going to have to step up? Is that gonna be a Patrick Williams? Is that gonna be a Dale? I mean, listen, Patrick Williams should be stepping up anyway, but realistically, right? Is that gonna be a Dalen Terry? Is that going to be a uh uh, uh Marco Simonovich? He's been here three seasons. We've seen nothing from him. I don't know, man. We'll see what it ends up being at the end of the day. But I do want to know how you guys feel. Like I said, let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. As always, it is your boy Pat the Designer. Back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bulls content. Click the links on the screen, check the links in the description below. See Red Nation. Y'all stay safe out there, man. Peace.